Um, guitars, back in guitars. Are you uh, serious about the guitars, or we, can we give you any guitar there is and you can play on it, or, no. or do you say no? Oh no, no, no! I don't ever want to. I don't ever want to pick up a Stratocaster or a Tele again. Uh, these guitars are much too good for me. The 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 the, the, the intonation, uh, the 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 height of the strings and everything is much too precise. Uh, th these guitars are made for people to play with their fingers, and I do not play with my fingers. I use the slide for everything that I do on the fretting side. Uh, I, I may mute with the back of my hand, but but a slide is what I make. I do all my fretting, if you will. <coughs> and uh, no, I, uh, I if a guitar is too good, I cannot play it. I need. I can play old five dollar balsa wood guitar better than I can play a Telecaster. <laughs> okay, uh, the blues in America um, is it dying or is it uh, in a revival? <coughs> in Europe, blues is coming up again. You know, uh, I have done another interview today, and uh, and this question seems to be on the minds of European music journalists everywhere. <laughs> Blues is not dying. We are not putting it in the museum. Uh, not only there, there's a lot of club owners and promoters and people in the music business in the blues music business that are having some hard times right now because everybody is. But uh, but but if anybody says, "Oh, the blues is dying," no, no, they're just mistaken. They're just wrong. Uh, I'm. I myself am proof that the blues is not dying. I'm, I'm a, I'm a beat up, battered, half toothless old man who's uh, doing what he's doing and really getting recognized for it. You know, by the time I'm, which I am now, 60 years old, and uh, so nothing's dying, y'all. Don't worry. And ten years ago, when you were 70 and we have an, uh, an interview, what have you achieved then? Bigger festivals or do you say local clubs with, with, with 100 people is okay for me also? Well, I'm, uh, now, now there you go. You, you've asked an original question here. What are you going to be doing in ten years? Well, I, uh, I'm, I'm about to take a couple of years of much lighter work in the music business. I, uh, I I mentioned that I may be getting a uh, professor's position um, in uh, in Oklahoma next year. I may hang on to that for a few years and teach. What do you, What do you teach? In which uh, uh, direction? The, uh, the 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 music department is generally where I'll end up uh, doing te teaching anything from. Uh, how to become a professional musician to the history of second half 20th century popular music. I've got a couple of English and history courses I'd like to teach and I have just enough academic credentials that they will consider me as, a prof as an adjunct professor. I have a master's degree and that's, that's generally enough in the United States. If you don't want to think about getting tenure or getting paid a, uh, a cushy salary, then you can become an adjunct with the degree that I have. So uh, I'll, be, uh, I'll, be, I'll be thinking about that. I have much painting to do. I have a 35-year a veteran journalist from California that's going to be working with me uh, producing my biography. Uh, we, uh, I've got an awful lot of things to do between now and 70 years old if I should live that long. But I have to stay a little bit more home. We're talking about transportation. I have to stay home a bit so that I can have the serenity to paint and create other artistic works and so that my health will stay good enough so that I am around at 70 because my health is not great now. I'm, I. I was hit by uh, an automobile in October of 2006. You see this scar here. There's a plate 
coming down here and pins. Uh, I threw my hand behind my body so that I didn't hit my head and shattered my hand instead. And I've been a, I was a very strong man still at that point, and I am now a senior citizen. <laughs> Does it affect your playing, or did it affect your playing? Uh, it, 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 it does and it doesn't. Um, this hand continues to be even stronger than it was before, I was before it was broken. But I have arthritis in my hips and my shoulders and my knees and... and that I, sounds like a blues song. And, I, and, and I, have, I have no ability to have insurance because I've had a heart attack and a stroke. So... Uh, it, anything that goes wrong with my body I must pay cash in America and so I have determined that if something really bad goes wrong I'm just not going to fix it if it's time for me to die it's time for me to die um, if you are a professor in musician is um, warning young b musicians for blues comp for record companies one of your issues or do you say no I get along with those people uh, I, uh, I, I have, one, one of the reasons that, that the University of Central Oklahoma is interested in hiring me is that I have contacts among all the, among all the, the facets of the music industry, the booking uh, part of it, the recording part of it. I know, I know recording engineers uh, in, on three continents. Uh, the uh, the production uh, part of it, the, uh, the, the I don't the technological and distribution parts I know least of all, but I know the people that do know about those things, and I have one of my one of my uh, best resources will be the the large number of people I know who are top men and women in their crafts that I can bring in to talk to my students. Okay. Um, we're going to round up this interview. Thank you so very much for... Uh